In April of 2022, I made $103,768 across my different businesses as a 20 year old entrepreneur. And during this month, I filmed every single day to give you the routine, the mindset, and the discipline it takes to go from whatever situation you're in right now to hitting six figure months. This is not meant to be incredibly entertaining, sexy, or have flashy clips of me getting bottle service or having extravagant business meetings on private jets, because the reality is in most cases, in order to become the person that deserves to make this much money, you have to make a ton of sacrifices you have to be incredibly disciplined and you frankly have to live a boring life where you wake up you work out you sit down and you work 12 hours a day to scale up your income to the point where you never have to work ever again so let's get into day one of april 2022 for day one april 1st i basically just paid my employees payday is the first and 15th of every month and i have paid around two thousand dollars to each employee now my day pretty much revolves around my advertising agency i have an agency where we run ads for e-commerce brands and also do done for you drop shipping services for people that want to have their own brand but don't already have one so you'll notice in this challenge pretty much the majority of my day revolves around my sales calls as i take on around five to six sales calls every single day and today we close two of them which is great 2250 bucks that's not too shabby that pretty much covers the cost of my employees for about two weeks which is amazing now I would say the other thing we're right now working on today is going to be an NFT project. We're right now getting our Twitter started for my project, Only Egg Club. As you can see right here, zero followers, brand new, but it is located in Miami. And I'm not actually lying when I say that because your boy is in the 305. And because I'm going to be doing this for 30 days and really showing you my life, I think I might need to get a better camera microphone. So I'm looking at the road. This is 250. That is a lot of money. And your boy is Jewish and stingy. But you know what? For the YouTube fam, we gotta make those upgrades. Wow, it goes really fast. So I'm having a little bit of a late start to Saturday morning after all the lovey-dovey, kissy, ooh-woo stuff with my girlfriend, but right now it is 12.26. Yeah, it is pretty much middle of the day and I had my first sales call, but the person actually didn't show up. Then we also have a rough draft right here to watch and give some notes to my editor so that we can get this video out done by Monday. I also got a ton of different traits for my NFT artist sent to me today. We got different sunglasses, we got different eyes, mouths, chains, hats, and man, we got a lot of stuff to review there. So the audio is gonna be a little sus for this part because my shore is unplugged because we just got a brand new arm stand. I mean, your boy's about to be like Joe Rogan. I need to show you this thing. This is insane. I had to basically drill this into my desk. Do you see that? I mean, it was really, really suspect. I am not a handyman by any means at all, but I think this thing is gonna be absolutely dope. Yo, Jamie, can we pull that up? The clip of the guy getting his testicles ripped off by the monkey? <laughs> yeah, that one always gets me. So it looks like we got the audio situation solved for the next couple of years. This is amazing. I'm gonna be playing around with this thing literally all day. When it comes to the other things that I talked about earlier today, we already got the comments on a recent video that we're gonna upload. Thumbnails been sent, NFT art. I have made my comments. There was a few pieces that needed a little bit of work. And then with the Twitter account, had a great meeting with one of our social media managers. So we got some tweets going on, got a few followers, but right now we're reaching out to a ton. And I mean, literally hundreds of promo pages to get some deals going on. So we're gonna reach out to them, get their engagement numbers, and hopefully in the next couple days, we'll have some good insights and pages that we can work with. And then when it comes to sound only, we had some really interesting things with our, one of our influencers. So he sent us back some footage for a potential influencer post. So we're going to get some more followers onto my social media app, Soundly, which I don't think I really have gotten a chance to talk about. So basically, Soundly is an app I launched a couple weeks ago that I've been working on for over a year to help smaller, talented artists promote their music to thousands of new listeners for free. Because I just realized a lot of musicians, they're incredibly talented, but they don't know how to market themselves. They have absolutely no idea what they're doing and they need a platform where they can just post their music and get new listeners. And with most social media platforms like TikTok or Instagram, you have to be making video content. You have to be showing your face. And if you're not funny and if you're not attractive, you're probably not gonna blow up. Right now, as you can see on my screen, we have 500 users in total on Android and iOS for Soundly. So we definitely need to bump these up. I haven't been able to advertise the project because with Facebook and TikTok, you need certain code integrated into your app to track events like if people are actually downloading it's not just like oh i just set up a pixel code on my website it takes five seconds this usually actually takes a couple of weeks so i forgot to bring my headphones to the gym and i had to be tormented by 
80s jazz and men ejaculating while finishing their PRs, just going, oh, oh. Damn, I should start dropping the OnlyFans link. I could make a solid $20 with these guns. So in terms of April 3rd, I did have a meeting with a potential website developer who's also going to do the contract for my NFT project. And I realized the website design I'm looking for, which is basically going to be modeling dippies, is a little bit too advanced for him. So we're going to have to find a outside website developer. So I already posted a job. I've talked to a few people from Upwork. I did this this morning, actually. And we basically narrowed it down to two different clients. And I may just pay both of them to build websites side by side and see who can do a better job. And with our boy RMC Beats, he finally did the post today. Now, obviously, 1,500, 940. Yeah, you could tell ads don't get as many likes today. But I think he did a really good job. And that's pretty much what you expect. If this guy can drive two 200 300 new listeners this was definitely a worthwhile experiment and it'll be someone we work with again and if not then we just got to work with more influencers i don't know why but every time i wear a basketball jersey instead of feeling like a frat douche i feel like a 70s band with the high shoulder just the v-neck design costumes it's really weird but if you look at my screen right now, you can see my YouTube as yesterday we got a chance to upload our new video. And it's doing pretty good. It got a thousand views in the first day. It's doing top three among all my videos around this time. 6,300 subscribers. It's not bad, but I feel like if we can get this to 8,000 by the end of the month, that would be amazing. Let's check out some comments. What are people saying about the video? Another quality as fuck video, Ethan. But the Discord link, that's actually something I need to talk about. Because I decided to partner with who I consider to be the best TikTok media buyer named Everest, who was scaling e-commerce brands to 100 grand days on TikTok ads. And we wanted to launch our own Discord where we share our best strategies on TikTok ads, website, just e-commerce in general. But we had to private it just because of some concerns with the payment integrations and just getting it all set up. We didn't want to release something that was just half-baked. I just had a call with him today, and hopefully we're planning to launch that tomorrow. And while that's all going on, I had a great meeting with a NFT website designer that i'm going to pay around 500 bucks he's going to do a basic duplicate of the dippies website and we're going to change the color scheme around for our project as well the final thing that we really need is a kick-ass animation promotion video and i know i'm going to have to spend probably like a thousand to maybe even four thousand dollars on that video but if it's really really solid that will do all this selling for us now with a lot of nt projects they have the same talking points they're talking about breeding and staking and earning and play to earn games but all that stuff is so generic it's not going to really get anyone's attention who's been in the space for long they're looking for a creative video that really doesn't even have any selling points it's just so creative and well done that it instantly grabs your attention <laughs> Collection Seriously, you guys need to start paying me to see me with my shirt off. I mean, this is getting a little ridiculous, but today was another big meetings day. It is currently 1144 on April 6th. And as we can see right here, lots of sales calls. I honestly didn't have to take too many of them because the first two people didn't show up. And in Stripe, we didn't really have any new clients join. We did make 1800 though, because one of our clients did re up, which is amazing. So here's their store in the last month of March. They did 16,000 in revenue, which is pretty decent. I know most agencies, if they could get any kind of results like this, they would be drooling. We are looking for hiring a new copywriter because we have so many products that get approved every single week, typically 20 to 30. And that's a lot of descriptions and lots of ad copies that have to be written out. So we are really looking for a nice copywriter that we can teach. Each person that's interviewing is going to write two different descriptions for a non problem solving product and a problem solving product. I recorded a quick SOP video. So We'll see who does the best. Now, hopping onto the NFT bandwagon, my co-founder Surajin found a animator for us from Nigeria who is pretty new to Fiverr, but his portfolio was absolutely stunning. I mean, the animations he was doing were incredible and his price point was only around 400 bucks. Now, this could be one of those situations where, uh, you know, you're sending money to a Nigerian prince and you're never gonna see that money again. And this could be the worst edited animation of all time. And maybe we should hedge our bets and hire another animator side by side. I would say the biggest thing that we did today for the NFT is was looking at every single trait that our artist did because he's done over 200 different traits and we sort of realized there's a lot of traits here that need some edits. I did in a way to test each one of these sus traits created a bunch of mock-ups with just the sus traits. So I really want to sort of just check this out real quick. I mean, look at some of these. I mean, geez, Louise, this headband. Oh, oh. 
It's disgusting. I mean, the helmet. I mean, what the hell is that? I think the coolest thing that happened today was at my agency where we did a usual team meeting, but it felt like an assembly of the Avengers. Literally on this team meeting, we had seven different people and half of them were pretty much brand new. We got our brand new website developer. We had Ali, the TikTok media buying go. We had all of our media buyers and just seeing Ali go to work. This guy was driving in his car while the meeting was happening and our media buyers were showing different client ad accounts and this guy was rattling off some of the most insane strategies i've ever seen i think some of our media buyers were honestly perplexed he is just on an all different plane i can't believe this guy's on our team now yesterday no one joined the agency it was a bit of a slower day but as you can see technically it is april 9th and we did get someone to join at one in the morning I wonder who that is. Now, when it comes to Soundly, the ads on TikTok are just doing absolutely tragic. Now, when it comes to Facebook, we're doing pretty good. I mean, today, 22 app installs on iOS, 72 cents. I'll take that every damn day of the week. Really, really solid stuff. Now, if we go to our Firebase, we did not hit 100 daily active users. We are so freaking close let me show you we went from 94 to 95 which is just agonizing it's such a tease that we're not at 100 yet but we're getting so close i can't wait it's gonna be there hopefully by tomorrow now with the nft project we didn't get too much chances for promoting but we did make a major major development as me and my co-founder basically went over each trait and we realized there's about 110 to 120 traits that we really like and there's about 70 to 80 that we don't we don't think it's high quality enough so and we realized we might completely have like an egg club 2.0 renaissance here where we change a lot of things we're also going to add some other bases like a dragon scale egg also a minecraft pixelated egg a golden egg easter egg and we added a ton of new traits so different hats like a flower headband for hippies we got 3d movie glasses a ton of new special characters like super mario wonder woman clothing this is an all new category for us i would say the way we came up with a lot of these traits is i just went to halloween stores and i just literally would copy all these ideas into there and i was like oh my god this is a gold mine i think overall this is just going to dramatically dramatically improve the artwork so i'm really excited for that and even though it's currently 2 30 in the morning your boy still needs to film another youtube video you gotta make content for tiktok for instagram so i need to film a video about my first ever brand hopefully you will already have seen that video so as you guys saw it looks like promoting an nft isn't as hard as i imagined in fact we just had two tweets going out today this one right here that went out two hours ago it's currently one in the morning so literally at 11 p.m but not the best time to be posting already had 2,000 retweets then this influencer right here is the reason why we went from 600 to 3,000 when i woke up this morning five thousand retweets and we are now at over eight thousand followers i mean right now we're just scrambling to get this discord ready because we need to take all this momentum carry it on over and tomorrow as you can see we have a ton of planned tweets ready to go to reveal some more art i need this promo video asap because we have enough followers to start doing some collaborations with some big big projects now when it comes to soundly i did turn off the tiktok ads because they just really weren't working however our daily active users God dang, it is hard to hit 100 nowadays. Jeez Louise, I'm thinking we might have to do a very similar strategy as we did with promoting the NFT where we just work with some big influencers, get them all to post together, and that just gives us enough momentum to carry it to the limit. But the craziest thing that happened today was not the NFT blowing up. It was the fact that at our agency, we signed three new clients. I really have to give a shout out to my boy, Philippe. He has been just a closing monster. $8,000 in sales, all due to one college kid who honestly reached out to me and said he would work for free. This kid hasn't even worked with me for two weeks and has never taken a sales call in his life, but today he closed three clients on his own. And hallelujah, my boy Evers is a Discord god. He got the whole Discord set up. I cannot be waiting to partner with him and we finally got our membership unlocked. So we're gonna be charging about $100 a month for people to get live calls with us, to get product reveals, to get TikTok ad strategies, which is definitely more than fair. So the clock is ticking with my new media buyer. She already got assigned her first couple clients, but now I need another media buyer because at this pace, we're going to sign a client every single day. And we're probably going to need two new media buyers by the end of the month. It's just so much pandemonium. It's so crazy. But man, these are the problems you want to have making five to $8,000 a day. And the final thing, we got our YouTube video ready to go for Monday. So thanks to my editor for that. But it's just crazy because every single day, I feel like I'm getting my productivity to another level. But then the next day, I'm just like, damn, we got even more accomplished. So yesterday I noticed I had way too much energy in my meeting. So today, for the first time since quarantine started, I decided to run outside in this beautiful sunny Miami heat and damn, I ran one and a half miles. My abs feel like they're about to explode. Genuinely, I feel like I'm about to have a kid. And I used to be a soccer player. I played soccer up to this year 
as a goalie. So everyone assumes I have great cardio. I have horrible cardio. That's the reason why I'm a goalie. I'll play some highlights. But there's a difference between saving shots and going down to the ground and having stamina for that and having stamina for actually running. So we're taking a little bit of a break from work because the game of the year is happening right now. My beloved Chelsea playing Real Madrid in the Champions League. We were down two goals. I didn't think anything was going to happen today, but we went up 3-0 at Madrid. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at this. But now it's 3-2. So today I got an email from a guy who graduated from Harvard and now works at a huge venture capital firm with hundreds of employees that says they want to have a meeting with me to potentially invest in my scaling startup app which is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. So with Soundly, our daily active users is down to 74, which is a little bit annoying. I think what we're going to need to do to substantially grow and really get this thing kicked off is doing some sort of giveaway. So I need to figure out what's going to be the right giveaway item, whether it's a mic or certain platform or program. I don't really know what exactly would be the best thing because I'm just so sick and tired of seeing like 70 to 80 users. Now I'd say the biggest thing that happened today was with the agency. We got agency accounts, which is a huge deal for our clients because agency accounts on TikTok basically have no problem. They have no spend issues. They rank at the top of auction platforms, so the ads perform better. But we came up with a really good deal with Viera Media. We talked to them, negotiated. I really feel like this is going to improve the results for our clients, and they're already giving us a good amount of money. So I think this is just a really awesome perk of joining Blue Ocean Digital. Okay, so before we recap today, I got to show you just one little thing. Look at how cute my dogs are. Oh my God. Ranger, he's moving. So today was a pretty chill day. In fact, I got to do a lot of planning for my girlfriend's birthday that's coming up in the next five days. So I got the whole day planned out. I'm planning to do some jet skis. We're gonna do an escape room, have a nice dinner. Also got a nice gift prepared for her. She needs a new microphone and I really wanna give her the Shore SM7B. So Mr. Bezos will be hand delivering that to my door tomorrow and he will be gift wrapping it as well. Now, when it comes to Soundly, we have sent a bunch of emails out to Rolling Loud, which is coming up very soon. I do wanna get tickets. However, I really wanna get backstage passes so that I can film some content with musicians that are obviously popping off and if we can get a few shout outs that would be really nice it probably won't happen and we might just have to get normal tickets but hey you know let's just see but if we keep growing just like this exponentially over a hundred daily active users thank the lord Rolling Loud is going to have no choice but to let me backstage interview and play Boy Cardi. Kanye West will have to be talking to Soundly. There was one hiccup today where we didn't notice there was a few bit of people on Android having some issues. So I had to report this to my developer team for the giveaway item. We are going to do a giveaway to get some more users and get this number to a thousand plus. We did put a poll on our Instagram and it was basically most people saying they want a mic as the giveaway item. So I might literally just give away another Shure SM7B like damn. They're getting a lot of business from me. So Coco rushes into my room this morning, wakes me up. He brought in a fucking squirrel. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I gotta turn the light on. What the hell is happening? Oh, there he goes. There's a squirrel. Ranger, I swear to God, if you hit this squirrel, Ranger, 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 I swear, to god. Ranger, Ranger, Ranger. Final step of the mission. He's right there, dude. The door's open. Thank God. Thank. God. So it looks like I'm going to have to pull off an all-nighter tonight. It's currently 3 in the morning, and I have to film a full TikTok ad course video for YouTube, which hopefully does very well. We get a lot of clients from that. As you can see today with the agency, we signed one new client, which isn't too shabby, but we made a lot of great edits in that website meeting. So basically for an hour, I was talking to our website guy and we came up with a barrage of different things that we could change, like having dynamic checkout, making sure we only have one font because we noticed there was like five different fonts going on here. We also wanted to add a price saving on the right of this price, meaning it will say like 55% off or $50 saved on the right. We also are gonna add color variants. So like a little box that has the colors instead of a drop down menu. There's gonna be a lot of new changes we make that are very subtle, but I believe are gonna make a huge difference and then we're also going to change up our trust badges to look much more professional than this so yeah there's going to be a lot of new tweaks that i think are going to make a nice difference now when it comes to the ad side of things i am trialing a new ad editor for our agency that i think is going to make a huge difference she seems really really qualified and runs a few of her own brands now when we look at our facebook ads oof that app install is looking sexy 76 cents don't mind if i do now with the nft project we got a lot of memes coming in and with the discord i did my first weekly call to give people a little bit of a taste of what it's like to be on that 100 a month astronaut package and we got some good reviews people saying the copywriting part of the call was crazy so i basically was on this call for about an hour and a half just giving some value about product research about copywriting about ads everything of the sort and i think a lot of people learned a good amount which is always good to know so i wasn't really in a very vlogging mood whenever i'm hanging out with my family 
family, especially out in public. I don't have my Casey Neistat vlog energy with me yet. But with the agency, we did sign two new clients today, which is absolutely phenomenal. Our guy, Philippe, is killing it in the sales game. In fact, he actually had a drought for the last couple of days where he wasn't getting any sales, and he wrote me a whole novel about that. And I had to just basically reassure him that he's doing an amazing job. And I learned from a few other agency insiders that we're actually getting more sales than other top TikTok ad agencies. I'm not going to name drop, but it's actually insane to see. Now, I really want to focus obviously on results now. We have a ton of clients and we need to be getting them results. So I'm going to be micromanaging a lot harder with my employees, making sure each ad that gets made, I'm checking it and making sure it's up to our blue ocean digital quality. Each website need to make sure I'm checking it. With our clients and media buyers, I'm gonna be checking in those chats, making sure communication is up to par, making sure we're testing products very fast and we are reacting to all new situations and problems immediately because i realized that's an area that i need to improve upon getting more micromanaging now when it comes to soundly the ads aren't doing super well today because it's easter and when it comes to the giveaway i do have some work planned with some big wrap pages i'm going to spend around 1200 to 1500 dollars but i am now realizing i should also have a secondary video because my original giveaway video doesn't actually talk about my app whatsoever so new people seeing this ad or this giveaway don't really know why I should download. So I think that I should also include a secondary video. So I have a little slideshow where we have the giveaway post slide to the right. And then you also have an explanation as to why to download Soundly. Now with the NFT, it is definitely crunch time. We need to be collaborating with some projects. We're very close to doing that. In fact, tomorrow we should have some posts going on. The unfortunate part is I would be grinding this with my social media manager, but Obviously, I got to hang out with my girlfriend. It is her birthday tomorrow and we got some cool things planned, but I really need to hunker down, get some work done because if we are going to sell out these next two weeks, every single hour is crucial. You know, I'm about the whitest person on planet Earth. Whenever I go outside, I naturally am just going to be burnt like a freaking red lobster, but I'm really excited for today. I think jet skiing is going to be super, super cool. And I got the gift right here. New microphone. Decided to go with Christmas wrapping paper. I thought that would be pretty funny. I had all these birthday things, but I'm like, she's going to like the Christmas wrapping paper. Rare. Whoa. God, you are so spoiled. It's ridiculous. I should be warm. But she thinks this e-com money never runs out. <laughs> So I woke up this morning and my heart dropped into my stomach because Stripe told me that I'm a high risk. And because your boy's been doing so well, somebody's got to bring him down. So Stripe, after years of me using them, is no longer going to let me use their platform. Even though I've had one chargeback, one person unhappy with my service in the last year, which is unheard of. I mean, there's so many fake gurus that the refund and chargeback and all this crazy stuff so you go and don't get your money back. I give people their money back if they're not happy. And yet I'm still getting this, which is really unfortunate. I'm gonna have to look into Square, PayPal, ugh, maybe even wires. I don't know what's best, but this is not the news I wanted. Anytime I put money in my YouTube videos, they always do extremely well. As we can see right here, this is a number one performing video. Your boy knows how to make an engaging thumbnail. I write headlines for a living. Now, when it comes to Soundly and this promotion, I feel like we're probably gonna do these giant promo pages reposting our content in around four days. I just filmed a secondary video, so we're gonna have the promo giveaway as the first slide of this promo and then the second slide is going to be an explanation of our app so that people download it regardless of the giveaway i also did sign up for square it was pretty easy and sending invoices doesn't seem that difficult so we are going to have to switch over to stripe to square just for the next 90 days so shouldn't be the biggest hiccup and with our website for the nft project we finally got it done it looks so nice look at all the bouncing eggs i told him to add more and he did looks so nice and when we scroll on down stories looking good colors looking great everything here is absolutely perfect. The last thing is we need to get that damn animation. And then the final thing is, I really wanna buy a PS5. I don't know why, I just now got the hit to buy one because I really wanna play GTA 5 on next gen console. So I think we're gonna buy one today. Oh my God, it's Jason Bourne. Two lizards. What is this, a fight to the death? What are you guys trying to prove to the world? So it's currently Saturday night and while my neighbors are partying and listening to Kid Cudi, 
I'm going to be generating my NFT collection. I know. Badass. While you guys party, I'm going to be creating a seventh source of income. So I got all 200 plus traits in our project inside this platform right here, NFT generator art, on a different computer because this computer has got no chance of generating that many pieces of art. But we're going to be spending about $529 generating 10,000 pieces of art. And I believe our collection is going to get a little smaller. We might do 5555. Five, five. So that means about half of the art we're not even going to use. And we also have to create certain exclusions because a lot of the traits don't mix and match very well together so we have to do exclusions where one thing is excluded from 30 or 40 or maybe a hundred different other traits and you have to do that for every single trait and i realize i need to stop being such a stingy jew and just invest in a new computer i'm so sick and tired of this laptop so i am going to be buying a pc i had a few of my computer nerd friends that build computers all day build a computer on this website called iBuyPower. So they have all the different computer parts here. And I think it's really, really interesting. Right now, our cost is 2,400. I'm probably gonna be spending around 3,000 when including the monitor and a few other key components. But I am really excited to get this bad boy over here. Now this weekend, I also filmed a one hour training video for our media buyers. So they know what the expectations, the goals, the standards are at Blue Ocean Digital. And I really feel like that was essential to do because I really had to lay down the wood this week. I had to call a lot of people out, had to put them on notice because I I noticed some people were slacking in the productivity and the results they were generating between our website builders, our media buyers. A lot of people I had to send voice message, have private meetings with and be like, hey man, I've noticed things are slipping. And as the boss, it does suck to do that, but I realized it's a part of it. Sometimes you have to call people out to really get them to work as hard as possible. And the final thing I'm working on is an application to Techstars, which is basically the second biggest startup accelerator in the United States, which gives you a network. It gives you mentors. And it gives you a ton of resources for growing your startup. It's a three month program. So I'll really be locked into how can I grow selling to the next level? How can I get this to a million users? How can I get this into as many hands as possible? And it's a really thorough interview process. There's about 40 questions on this application. Plus I to film some videos right now tonight about my team and how my product works so i'm going to go and bang those out right now and then we have to generate some art shipping is good i'll write my memoir there uh, oh, oh my god oh, my father so many good toilets to destroy with my Taco Bell late night runs. Oh. My name's Nori. Today was one of those days where I learned the cost of being an entrepreneur. As you get the days where you make tons of money, you're providing a lot of value, everything's good. And then you get the days where employees are messing up. There's fires, there's problems that you have to solve and it's incredibly stressful. So I had three different meetings with clients today that just weren't happy with the service being provided and they were brand new clients. And I was like, how is it even possible? So they said they weren't happy with the website and also the communication of a media buyer. And I realized all these clients weren't happy and they were with the same exact media buyer who I recently just hired. So I looked at one of the websites, I went on these calls and I realized they were right. The customer is right. And when I looked at these, when we're building websites, the menu should say the name of the product. So buy, Aquasage in this case, it should say Aquasage. Every single product that we test is now 40% off. Then when I scroll to the bottom here, this one says 60%, it says 70%. The reviews are horrible. And I'm like, oh my God, like what the hell is going on here? This is not what I've taught. We have exact training videos step-by-step step on how to do this. Take Building these websites takes 10, 20 minutes with our templates. What the hell is going on? And then I went through every single website that this new media buyer built and it was crap. And I'm like, what the f is going on because this guy's representing me and I put my trust into him because he had scaled multiple brands, but I'm starting to realize he might not be the right fit. Even though he's new, I'm not going to cut him much slack. I said, I'm going to give you more and more week. I had to have a strict talking with him. And it might be a case where I have to fire someone who I literally just hired and we have to find a new media buyer. And that's just part of the reality when you run an agency. Every single person that works for me is a representation of me. I have to make sure that the right quality, I give them training videos. We have team meetings. This person didn't show up to the team meeting today. We had a team meeting whole team was there except for this one person who built the crappy websites and i'm starting to realize yeah probably a misfire there i also had to review the animation video that our animator did for the nft project and just look at these five seconds the egg is floating 
Ugh, it's just so bad. Again, I had to do another Loom video with this animator, and I just said, dude, it's clear you clearly lied about your portfolio. There's no way you animated any of those videos you put there because this is crap. And I've been working with this guy for three weeks, and I even called it in the six. He's probably a scammer. He is a scammer. He has no idea what he's doing. He's delayed every single deadline. I paid him extra money to get this done, and this is the crap I got back. So had to cancel the project with him and it's unfortunate. But in terms of that team meeting, me and Ali really dive deep into how we can get more results for our clients. And we sort of came to the conclusion that our website template can be edited. And also we can create more ads for each product test because we have noticed our CPC, TikTok is just being super inconsistent lately. So we're trying a bunch of new strategies. In fact, Ali just worked on a new one for all our media buyers, which is not gonna be revealed unless you're in the paid Discord group, of course. But yeah, we just basically covered over the new testing strategy. And then with the websites, we realized our upsell app on mobile just doesn't look super good. So we're going to be changing that out with something else. And then with the sticky ad to cart, we realized this takes about a third of the screen, which is way too much. So we're going to be getting rid of that. We already realized that with our template, we have multiple options for buying now. Like we have multiple buy now buttons. These don't stretch. But again, I just had a meeting with our website editor about 20 minutes ago. And we're going to make sure that all future ones do because that is an issue. So we are making some changes. I actually am really excited to see how the new websites are going to perform. And then with the ads, we're gonna make about three ads for every single product. Just basically switching up the clips, trying new music and seeing how that performs. But the main entrepreneur problem I'm dealing with today is a very common one. Facebook banning my account. They asked for my ID, I sent it to them and they still have everything restricted. It's very unfortunate because this is how I do generate money. This is my main source of income. So we are going to be having to follow up with a lot of people that we already have talked to to try to supplement the amount of messages we are getting a day, which is typically 40 to 50. And hopefully I can get this back quick. Otherwise, there's going to be some issues. And I would say the final thing I did today was do a bit of an expense report on all my different businesses. And there was a lot of different charges on there that I did not recognize about $1,100 in TikTok ads. And I have not spent a dime on TikTok ads. So... Yeah, there was a lot of different things. I think it added up to close to four to $5,000 this month that I was like, ah, I don't think I've actually done that. So that's definitely gonna cut into the profit for this month. And obviously, you know, refunds will happen. In fact, today I did have to refund one person who did re-sign with us for a fourth month didn't get the results they wanted. They said they wanted a partial refund. So again, I try to be as fair as possible to all our clients. If they're not happy, I do offer partial refunds just for the time and service. So I just want to be fair with everyone. I don't want to take money from anyone that feels like they did not get their full value of that money. So that is part of it. That's going to cut into profits as well. But overall, I think it was a pretty solid month. Oh, oh my God. What's in the box? What's in the box? I'm so scared. This could literally be chicken nuggets or it could be a full PS4. This is from StockX. It is authenticated. I will admit, I have not been this happy to get a new console since I got my first ever Wii. I mean, it's got that same new console smell. Oh my God, I think this is legit. Oh my goodness. I'm about to wife you up. I mean, look at this guy just hop around. This guy thinks this is a freaking Uber for lizards. And now he's dancing, he's partying. The audacity of these lizards, I swear. Oh yeah, he's ready to jump. Oh, did he jump? I think he did. So this challenge ends in five minutes and I know it wasn't the most glamorous. It wasn't a lot of shots of me going out to fancy restaurants and partying with my entrepreneur friends. I am gonna do some of that next month, but the reality is I pretty much just wake up, I eat breakfast, work out, and then for 12 to 14 hours, I am committed to working on my different businesses. Now with the NFT project, again, as you notice, we're probably gonna delay upon that. So we did make some progress this month, which is good, but I still need a lot more to learn. Now with the agency, we did close out at 96,000 in revenue, which is pretty insane. It's awesome to see. We we're just so close to getting to 100K. And with the Facebook hold, it might be a little tough to regain to 96 next month, but if we can get anywhere near there, that's always a win. And we're gonna be looking at hiring a new manager and also getting a new salesperson. I have about six interviews tomorrow with people. So it is really exciting to see how far the agency has grown in just one month time. It's really been nuts. And then with Soundly, also getting a ton of new users doing that giveaway. Yeah, it's just been a lot of new stuff. So with Soundly, our daily active users have gone down, but we finished the month at 1300, which I don't think is that bad at all. So I'm gonna be incorporating myself in more content Content, talking with my social media manager on how we can grow this organically in the meantime because we can't really run ads so yeah that's sort of where we're at there and pretty much all of next month i'm just gonna be focused on fulfillment with my agency making sure we're getting the best results hiring that next manager that can really hold our ad account and media buyers to a higher standard we're gonna be doing more team meetings always looking at new ways to improve but again i want this to be the number one agency that's where my head is at and then obviously with Soundly, I want to get as many users as possible. But before that clock hits midnight and another month begins, you can always expect another YouTube video coming out every single week.